Hi, I'm your host, Sal Mercagalana. Welcome to this episode of What's Going On With Shipping. So I want to do an update on a story we just did concerning the excursion vessel Spirit of New Norfolk and the fire, the abandonment, and near disaster out on Hampton Roads that took place on June 7th, 2022. Got some new information, some new footage. I wanted to update it, tighten down the video, and give you a quick synopsis. So let's go ahead. So this is the marine traffic for... June 7th, 2022, when Spirit of New Norfolk departed that morning. Some revised information we received. There were two personnel on board, a captain and a relief captain on board, but 17 personnel were part of the hotel service staff on board. The remaining of the 108 were children on board for the cruise. So more crew on board than we thought. The vessel experienced a fire as captured in a lot of these videos, potentially from the engine room. The fire on board Spirit of Norfolk issued an SOS, a Mayday, and the Rosemary McAllister Harbor Tug and the Victory Rover, a harbor excursion boat, arrived on scene and came alongside to begin evacuating the personnel on board. We really owe the Victory Rover, the owners, Tam Van, Tom Van Benscoten and Brooke Smith, and that crew on the Victory Rover that day, uh, just absolute massive amounts of thanks. Uh, I don't think there's any question that they saved lives that day. Captain Brandon Peter and his crew aboard the Victory Rover have trained for years in case of an emergency. We pulled around the side, and uh, the crew got lines over and tied up to the Spirit. There was a tugboat there when we got there fighting a the fire with their fire cannons and uh, got, got alongside and the spirit crew had, had everybody ready to go in life jackets. It was that moment Captain Peter says he saw smoke coming from the vessel and was told the spirit of Norfolk needed to evacuate all its passengers. Somewhere between 50 and 60 kids and a lot of parents were with them and everybody was as helpful as can be. Captain Corey Roy served as Peter's mate that day. People were a little shaken, a little nervous. We trained for firefighting, mostly probably running on our own boat, but you know, those guys, you know, know how to work under pressure. I have seen fires on board boats before, but nothing like this and have never had to do any kind of evacuation. An emergency evacuation with the best kind of outcome. And nobody hesitated to just jump in and, and. While the evacuation was taking place on board Spirit of Norfolk, outbound from the coal docks in Norfolk came the Spar Lyra. I, accidentally referred to this vessel as the Spar Lydia in a previous video. Spar Lyra is a 2005 bulk carrier flagged in Norway. She was outbound of Norfolk, bound for Dunkirk, France. As she was sailing northbound, restricted in the channel because of her draft, at 50,000 tons, she was unable to stop when right across her path was the Spirit of Norfolk and all the vessels involved in the rescue. The ship's crew, along with an embarked pilot, was able to maneuver Spar Lyra to the west, to the very west side of the channel, and be able to maneuver around the vessels. She couldn't stop because she's too heavily loaded and would not be able to stop. But as she backed down in her engines, she lost her propulsion. Her plant went down. Her plant went down just as she swung back into the channel, and at that point, she was heading directly for the Navy base, specifically the berths of the destroyer USS Mason and the MSC oiler USNS Leroy Grumman. It's at that moment that several tugs peeled off from the Spirit of Norfolk to grab the wayward Spar Lyra. As Star Lyra passed just to the west of the incident, the Victory Rover had just cast loose with all the survivors from the Spirit of Norfolk on board. She narrowly missed the northbound Spar Lyra coming down the vessel's starboard side, and as she passed, Victory Rover proceeded southbound, heading back to the original berth of Spirit of Norfolk to offload its passengers. Firefighting continued on board Spirit of Norfolk with several tugs, including the J.M. McAllister, the Ohio River, and a few others. In the meantime, the Z-1 had taken the position off the starboard bow of the Spar Lyra. She was able to get a line on board while the Fort Bragg took a position on the starboard quarter. Both tugs immediately had to push Spar Lyra to the west to avoid the containment boom 
and protection buoys around the vessels. The scene you're seeing here was shot from on board USNS Leroy Grumman, an MSC oiler that provides fuel for the fleet. You'll see the Spar Lyra was unable to avoid one of the eastbound markers, a green buoy, and actually runs it down and will actually snag it on its propellers. The Fort Bragg eased off on its line to allow the buoy to pass in between. The whistle sounds you hear are the tugs acknowledging orders from the pilot on board giving aid to the ship. You'll see black smoke emanating from the spar Lyra. She's unable to use her engines at this point, attempting to get the plant back up online. In the meantime, Z1, the tug on the starboard bow, is pushing sideways to keep the vessel from going into the Norfolk berth. The ship has lowered one of its anchors on the starboard side down, although it hasn't dropped it completely to fetch the ground. In the meantime, they were able to avoid a potential hazard as Spar Lyra passed the Norfolk Naval Base docks and away from the incident. In the meantime, firefighting continued on board the Spirit of Norfolk. Ships were docked alongside, water was being sprayed to cool the hull as other vessels responded to the area. Lines would be attached to the Spirit of Norfolk to bring her along the berth at Pier 4 at the Norfolk Navy Base. A narrow disaster was avoided this day. The efforts of the crew on board the Z-1 and the Fort Bragg definitely are noteworthy for their ability to prevent Spar Lyra from going into the berths and into the docks and causing a potential catastrophe along the piers. At the same time, the survivors from the Spirit of Norfolk were heading southbound to be offloaded back at their original embarkation point. With the Spirit of Norfolk abandoned, the passengers and crew safe, and the threat of Spar Lyra passed, the Spirit of Norfolk was brought to the naval base and moored alongside. However, the decision was made not to enter the vessel by the Federal Fire, City of Norfolk, and Norfolk Naval Base personnel. Later that evening, the vessel was engulfed by flames left by the engine room. According to reports, the engine room compartment on the vessel lacked the capability to be secured and flooded with CO2. That negated any attempt to extinguish that fire beforehand. Early the next morning, the fire continued on board the vessel until the vessel was completely burnt out and nothing really left. It's interesting to note that one of the things that Norfolk lacks is really a dedicated fireboat. While you'll see smaller vessels being used, commercial tugs, and some of the smaller fireboats from the local fire departments, they don't have a dedicated fireboat as you do in a lot of commercial ports. One of the things a dedicated fireboat does is it brings a lot of train personnel and equipment with it, including dewatering pumps to get water off a vessel and the ability to fight interior on board a vessel and that experience. Interesting to see following the Bonhomme Richard fire and the incidents that took place in San Diego, what lessons learned come out of this. Even though this was a commercial vessel, you still had the elements of Navy firefighting that would be used should there be a fire on board a vessel at a Navy base. Fortunately, everybody was saved, no one was hurt, and everybody walks away from here alive. just want to say again, what a phenomenal job that was done by everybody involved in this event, from the crew of the Spirit of Norfolk to the assistance rendered in the evacuation of the personnel on board to the firefighting capability to the tugs out there lassoing 
the spar Lyra and preventing her from crashing into the Navy base all across the board. Pilot on board, Spar Lyra, Coast Guard, Navy, Mariners, you name it, and even even the civilians on board seem to cooperate and do everything that was asked of them. Just a great job. Again, I, I can't heap more praise on everybody on the waterfront yesterday in Hampton Roads. Absolutely responded sterilely to this event. Obviously, some lessons learned can always be had. Uh, a lot of issues, I would say, are going to start to crop up. Why is it that Spirit of Norfolk didn't have the ability to flood the room, the engine room with CO2 to prevent a fire from expanding uh, or spreading? Uh, the issue of fireboat and getting on board with some personnel, dewatering, you name it. There's a lot of little things to go. But overall, let's be clear. Fantastic job. No lives lost. Moderate damage to property, obviously, with the spirit of Norfolk, but nobody else. Uh, you really mitigated what could have been a disastrous day out on Hampton Roads. So, thanks for watching. Please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, share it across social media. And if you can, head on over to the Patreon page and help support the page or hit the super thanks button down below. Until our next video, this is Sal signing off.